the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go live. All right, this is Javier here with The Boxing Voice, and I'm here with Raphael Murphy. Raphael, how you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm doing great, man. Hey, Raphael, let us know about the sparring you just had with Dion, and... and, and. Basically, just let us know how it went for you. Hey, man, it was a great, it was a great sparring. Dion Nelson is a, a nice, strong kid. Uh, we got good work in, uh, moving forward, good pressure. You know, the kid in shape, which is us all as fighters need good work, just like that. The way he coming and me down here giving him that work, so to come. So it was great. Hey, uh, so let us know where you from. Uh, when you started boxing, uh, boxing family, everything like that. Yeah, um, I'm originally from Chicago, Illinois. Um, I reside currently in Texas right now in the Rio Grande Valley. Um, I come from a boxing family. My uncle was an IBF um, world champion, also 1980 Olympic. The year they counseled, my dad also fought for two world titles. Um, I come from a boxing family. I'm currently signed with Don King at the time. Um, I'm just trying to make the best of what I can make and the career that I have right now. All right, so uh, let us know when you expect to have your next fight and all uh, everything like that so we can, we can tune in and stuff like yeah. that. Um, I'm looking to fight around March time. Uh, right now I'm going through a, a couple of issues, so once we iron everything out, we definitely looking about March, April. Um, hopefully get a fight with one of these uh, top 10 cruiserweight guys in the United States. Um, it's definitely a lot of talent there. Um, the division's opening up. Um, Tabidi doing a lot of big things there from the United States. And now we got this kid, Nelson, which is light heavyweight, you know, so it, it's definitely a lot of sparks here in the United States in the cruiserweight division. And Marcellus, Marcellus Wilder, um, we are, it's, it's here, man. The, the, the cruiserweight division have opened back up. And, you know, it's just a sum to shine for the heavyweight division, that junior heavyweight division that we down here cracking as well. Uh, we showing speed and, hey, we getting ready for them big boys too. Uh, I got a few questions. I'm going to ask about a few fights and just see what you, what you think about them and, and what you expect out of these fights. So uh, Mikey Garcia versus Errol Spence, what you, what you think and what you expect out of them? Um, I what I expect is Earl Spence being a bigger man and being able to take advantage. But on the smart side in, in the real life, you know, Mikey Garcia is a four or five division champion. He's undefeated. He have legacy. So he's coming up there to fight. You know, I'm not expecting him just to lay down for for um, Spence because like if Spence don't really dominate him, man, and they fighting in te Texas, it can be a, a real big surprise. Uh, okay, next next up, I'm going to go with Terrence Crawford first, Amir Khan and Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, since that's that's the big buzz right now. Yeah, I, I see, like, Amir Khan done been in there. He tough, he hard, he got hard. I think that's just a opening up for Terrence Crawford in the welterweight division to show that he can handle a size, speed, and all that. I think Terrence Crawford will beat him. And uh, as far as with Errol Spence's fight, uh, I was talking to one of my buddies, man, uh, I think boxing is almost becoming like WWF, WCW. Like, if you ain't on this side, you can't fight a WWF fighter. So, you know, once they get all that out the way, man, hey, it's great fireworks. Spence and Crawford is definitely the best fight that needs to happen ASAP. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about the politics, the promotions. You know, the, the best need to fight the best. All right, and, and last one, since we had the Wilder Gym, uh, Wilder Fury 2, what, what you expect out of that and, and, and what you want to see? Well, I expected, you know, it was it was a great ending of a fight. I expect Wilder probably come out and, and, and address some things that he had issues with and come out more aggressive, which is Tyson Fury probably going to do the same thing. But now that they both touched each other and they know what it is, I think with Wilder knowing what he's working with now, it's, it's showtime for him. He He's going to come out there and get the knockout because he know he can drop that big man and hurt him. You know, so now it's just all about setting him up and getting him in that same position again. So. That's, that's the biggest heavyweight fight, you know, right now in times. Like, it kind of surprised me of the fight that they put up, but it's a fight to have. All right, well, Raphael, thank you for the interview, man. And if you got any social media, anything you want to give out, let us know. Yeah, man, everything. My name, Raphael Murphy. Um, my Instagram, Raphael underscore Murphy. You know, just look me up. Um, definitely on the rise. Uh, I'm coming. Y'all watch. I've been, on, I've been on sleep for 18, 17, 19. Expect greatness. You know what I'm saying? Thank everybody. All my What's up, TBV family? Yes, yes, YouTube has been cutting funding to uh, their channels as of late and with net neutrality. 
uh, going through its process. The internet is changing. If you want to keep your favorite channel intact, coming up with tons of content, and plus get hours and hours of extra content, head over to patreon.com forward slash the boxing voice uh, to become a member of the TBV family and help support the channel. Peace.